From LA Late News headquarters in Santa Monica, this is the Midday Report on LA Late. It's a big, big noon time on LA with incredible great news breaking about your fourth stimulus check update of 2021 today. In this recording, we go over the breaking news and that fourth stimulus check that is a monthly stimulus check starting the month of July and why the incredible news is pushing it to the finish line. It's a two bill, two step, two month process and we go over the breaking developing details and that monthly fourth stimulus check. Then we cut over to the fifth stimulus package and why in addition to the raising of your benefits, you could potentially see an additional 20% lifetime add on to your benefits. And this is if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad benefits, veterans benefits, survivor benefits, and more. I have all the incredible great news about the fourth, fifth stimulus package. And then we land in money, money landing this coming week, starting tomorrow in your bank account. I go over all the incredible great news about this money. How do you get it? How automatic is it? And what do you have to do in the next 24 hours? It's incredible great details and it's incredible noontime. The weather is perfect. I'm here, you're here, and let's get to it. This is Noontime LA. Hey, good noon time, everybody. This is LLA with incredible news, news about your fourth stimulus check update of 2021. Wow, just incredible great news. In this recording, we go over that fourth stimulus check, that monthly stimulus check that would start in the month of July and give you a stimulus check every month thereafter. We'll go over how much, when, and how you're going to get it, and what is the breaking news that's impacting it today. Then we'll cut over in the second half of this video to fifth stimulus. It's the big payout that will raise your benefits if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad benefits, and veterans benefits. And we'll go over the breaking news that's impacting that and could take it straight to the sky. And then in the middle of this recording, we go over the big money that's landing your bank account starting tomorrow. But the other items that you have to do something by the end of tomorrow to get that money. This is LLA, the only 24-hour day, seven days a week financial news channel, literally recording and airing 24 hours a day. From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA, and this show, Noontime, is the most watched show of any broadcaster on the internet of financial news. Thank you for joining me. Make sure you subscribe. 400,000 subscribers, just about 100 people away, a YouTube record in one year in just a few days. Subscribe right now. Also, like this video, and if you've not become a member, consider becoming a member. Let's get right into that four stimulus check news and the amount starting right now. The fourth stimulus has two proposals, both the House plan and the Senate plan, but the House plan got major news on Friday and yesterday. Let me go over the details starting right now. The House proposal is a stimulus check every month starting in the month of July, but continuing for the remainder of the pandemic plus one year. It's the word pandemic that is now making a major twist with the breaking news. First, let's go over the two proposals, and then we'll go over the breaking news. If you're watching live just before 12 noon on the West Coast, 3 o'clock on the East Coast, get ready to vote in the live chat, House versus Senate. And if you're watching this taped, be ready to comment in the comments, House versus Senate. So the House proposal will give you a stimulus check for the remainder of the pandemic, plus one year. So the pandemic has four more months, then that would be four months plus 12 months, 16 months of stimulus checks. The senators would propose instead stimulus checks from July to December. But before you decide there, let's look at the monthly stimulus checks. House members, the first month would be $2,000 and $1,000 every month thereafter. The senators' a monthly amount is unknown, but word on the street is it's this. Wow, incredible great news. Look at this money. $2,000 a month over six months, $12,000 for a single individual. $1,400 a month over six months, July to December, $8,400 an individual. Now, before you vote House versus Senate, let's go over the breaking news today at noontime, yesterday, and the news that started on Friday. The House proposal says the remainder of the pandemic plus one year. And while no one believes that COVID is going to be gone as a virus in the next 30 days, there's now new 
concerns or new thoughts that the pandemic for legislative history may be gone by the time they vote on the bill, which is July. It started on Thursday when Dr. Walensky, the head of CDC, announced that the mask mandate has been lifted for Americans indoors and outdoors across the country if you're vaccinated. It continued on Friday when the President of the United States announced that the mask mandate was lifted on the White House grounds. It continued today and yesterday as major corporations across the country, Home Depot, Lowe's and Trader Joe's, have announced no longer is a mask required in stores if you're vaccinated. Which means then, is the pandemic over by July for legislative purposes? If it is, that would mean that the House plan provides only 12 months of stimulus checks. How much would that be? $13,000 in 12 months compared to the Senate plan, which would potentially be nearly the exact amount of money in half the time, six months. And then with that, drop in the comments, Senate versus House, which one do you like? Now we see how the breaking news has really changed the, the compass of where we are. All right, let's go over who gets this, how you get in, when you get in, all the incredible great news about the four stimulus check. It's a monthly stimulus check. Ultimately, I'm a reporter. I just report the news. I don't write the bills and I don't write the law. They represent the representations. I just report their representations. And what do they represent? That the vote will be in the month of July for the month of July. That means that the first stimulus check would land in July for July. And then in August for August. This is a monthly stimulus check. Would it arrive in waves? No, it cannot because it's monthly. Is it taxable? No, it is not a taxable event because it's not income. Who gets the fourth stimulus check? You do. So if you're a single individual who makes less than $75,000, you would get the fourth stimulus check. Married couple, less than $150,000, you would get the stimulus, fourth stimulus check. Just double it. Household of four or less, you would get the fourth stimulus check. Quadruple it. And if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Veterans Benefits, Survivor Benefits, you would get the fourth stimulus check. Incredible great news. And what's important to understand is that the fourth stimulus does not need a Republican vote. It's a two-bill, two-step, two-month process already underway called a reconciliation with the vote coming in July. Is the stimulus check a different amount for different people? No. So adult dependents, children, everyone else, it would be that same amount. Incredible great news. That's your fourth stimulus check update for 2021. But guess what? I have more breaking news coming up later in the second half of this recording. This is a jam-packed recording with literally 30 minutes of coverage of money I'm going to get you in this recording. So stay with me to the very end because I got a lot more coming up and get a pen and paper ready because I got some notes for you to make about where to get some money. But coming up in the second half recording, I'm going to go over the breaking news that impacts your fourth stimulus just today. And I have a preview of what that second half is going to go over as well. Fifth stimulus. Fifth stimulus would raise your benefits up with SSI and SSDI reform. Who's going to have their benefits raised up? You, if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, veterans benefits, survivor benefits. And then they would raise them up annually if the inflation rate goes higher. Well, could the inflation rate go through the roof and raise your benefits a lifetime through the roof? Those exciting details coming up in the second half of the video. Stay with me. I'll reveal it then. But let's cut to the incredible great news of money landing starting tomorrow. We have breaking news about who's getting a win, you're getting it, and other details. Before I get into that, let me tell you two things. What you're going to see over the next few minutes is I'm going to show you where there's money available for you to get. And sometimes you don't have to do anything. I refer to that as a donut moment. It's automatic moment money. You can sit back and eat your donut and just watch it land in your bank account. I'm also going to refer to what I call tough love moments. It's tough love because the money is there for just a short period of time and you may have to do something. It's not automatic. And if you don't do it, you will not get the money and lose out on nearly tens of thousands of dollars. All right, let's get to the great news start off the bat, which is there's five to $25,000 available for you and it's starting right now. What is it? It's rent, utilities, homeowners assistance, mortgage assistance, homeowners utilities, and food assistance. And it is available right now. The federal government passed the third stimulus package in January. And when it passed, I told you that, yes, you're going to get a $14 stimulus check. But you're also going to be eligible for five to $25,000 of additional money. And that you need to pounce as a verbal hawk. Hawk, hawk, which became the expression and expression of this channel to get the money before other people try to rush in front of you and get it, what I call stimulus stampede. And we waited for when that money would land. 
It's now landing. It started to land last week. It's going to land this coming week. And where is it landing? In your city, county, and state, starting with rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and utility assistance. Let's get to the details. First, rent is about $5,000, about four to six months of rent. Where do you get it? Reach out to your city hall, your city housing authority. County hall, county housing authority. State hall, state housing authority. Again, city hall, city housing authority. County hall, county housing authority. State hall, state housing authority. If at any time in this video I'm going too fast, you can always replay the video and toggle down the screen below to take notes. All right, what do you say when you call up for that rent? You're asking for rent assistance because of COVID. That's all you say. You can also say the Biden Economic Recovery Act. You do not, categorically do not, say stimulus or stimulus package. They're not going to understand what you're talking about. And how much? About $5,000 of rent, four to six months. Incredible great news. Plus about a couple hundred dollars to a thousand or so dollars for utilities. Homeowners get assistance with mortgage assistance and also homeowners utility bills. Incredible great news. Now let's turn to SNAP. What is SNAP? It's money for food. And the last 48 hours, I've had people reach out to me. Thank you, LA. I got money from, for rent. And other people have reached out to me no less than two in the last 24 hours. said, thank you. I got on Snap. And what's important to understand is when you get on Snap, you're on Snap for a very long time. What's the, what's the eligibility? Generally the same as a stimulus check. What is Snap? It's money for food. How do you get it? You call up 211 or reach out to the Department of Agriculture. You're trying to reach the Department of Agriculture. They are who administer Snap. And how much is it? Now a family of four in Hawaii is seeing upwards of $16,000 in 12 months. Wow, this is incredible great news. Why is it so high? Because of a Trump executive order which raised its 15% for six months and a Biden executive order which raised it for 15% for six months. Look at this video. We're only 12 minutes in and I've already got you yeah, $5,000 for rent and $16,000 for food if you're in Hawaii. Well, guess what? It brings me to my first tough love moment, and this is a very major tough love moment. It's important to understand the following. If you need assistance with rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, or any type of homeowner's assistance, or do qualify for it and would really uh, relieve economic burden you have, go get it. Why? Because it's not coming back into forced stimulus. We now know that the forced stimulus package is not going to have those items. They put it in the third stimulus, so you would get it in the third stimulus. It's first come, first serve, so don't wait around to get it. As one viewer sent me a private message yesterday, he said, thank you, Adelaide. I'm going to go get this starting Monday. Number two, the important thing to understand is that the eviction moratorium and the mortgage forbearance are going away. Democrats don't want it back. Republicans don't want it back. It's going away in September. The reason why it's going away is because they set up this program so you get the money now so you're caught up on your bills. And that now brings us to a donut moment. You deserve it. Not one, but two donut moments. Donut moment number one. And I had someone sent me an email yesterday say, thank you. My husband's going to get $5,000 out of this. What is this money? It's money coming back from your state. How do you get it? It's going to come automatically. Where? To the account that the state has on file with you. Why? The federal government has ordered states to return back to you money that they had accidentally previously paid you as a supplement on your unemployment benefits due to a computer glitch, extra thousands and thousands of dollars that they then told you to return back to them and you did. The federal government has stepped in and said, no, you had a computer glitch states. It was not the fault of the citizen. You should have required that you should have allowed the citizens to keep the money. Now the federal government has ordered the states to return the money to you. This is incredible great news. Now that one viewer said, when is my respective state returning the money? Every state is different. So if you want to know when the state is returning those thousands of dollars back to you automatically, you'll have to reach out to the state to know their routing time. Which brings me to donut moment number two, which has a major news update today that was announced late Saturday afternoon, which I detailed when it broke. IRS has now confirmed that there's three waves, or three phases as they call them, for this automatic donut moment. And what is it? It's returning money back to you for taxes you paid on your unemployment to the federal government IRS. It's coming back in three waves, phases. <laughs> Phase one is what IRS identifies as single filer tax filers who have no dependence on the tax return, 
and have no complicated other refunds on the tax return, what they call a simple tax return. Phase one recipients will get the money this coming week if they did not get it last week. Easy breezy. Phase two recipients are single filers who may have a dependence or may have other things that make the tax return particularly complicated, like other refunds on the tax return. Their money is coming at the end of this week and then start of next week. And then phase three are joint filers like husband and wife. So how much money are you getting? Thousands of dollars. Who? The federal government. Where? Likely in the mailbox, in a beige or white envelope. Inside is a beige check from Department of Treasury or IRS with the note refund for the taxes you paid to the IRS previously on the 2020 return for your unemployment benefits. Here's an example of the thousands of dollars you're going to get back. For example, let's say you had a $9,000 of unemployment assistance last year. You filed your 2020 tax return. You paid $5,000 total to the IRS for your tax burden. And of that $4,000 was taxes on your unemployment assistance. Guess what? You're getting back a check of $4,000. Automatic, you don't have to do anything. The only case in which it's not in the mail and would be by direct deposit is if you had a direct deposit account on that 2020 return. Which brings me now to my first major tough love moment. If you took out for federal taxes while receiving your unemployment benefits in 2020, federal taxes, then you have to file that tax return requesting the money back by the end of tomorrow, Monday afternoon. Here's the example. Let's say you received $100 a week. Uh, Let's say you received unemployment benefits for 10 weeks. And over those 10 weeks, you took out $100 a week for federal taxes. That's $1,000, 100 times 10. Guess what? You have to file that tax return by the end of Monday with IRS requesting that money back that you took out. No questions across the board on that one. Which brings us to incredible great news about thousands of dollars coming to parents. And that starts in July. If you have a child, find a newborn. You're getting $3,600 prorated per month, which is $300 starting the month of July or $3,000 prorated starting the month of July at the child's 17 to 6, which is $250 a month. If two events have occurred, number one, you made less than $75,000, and number two, the IRS knows the child is with you, which triggers three major tough love moments. Tough love moment number one, IRS doesn't know anything about the situation because you never file tax returns and you believe IRS does not know those children are with you. Here's an example. A single mom with a five, four, and three-year-old at home, she never files tax returns and does not believe that IRS knows those children are with her. She would be entitled to over nearly $10,000 starting the month of July prorated. But guess what? If she's correct and IRS does not know those children are with her, when July comes around, she's going to get a categorical 100% guaranteed flat zero. She's going to miss out on $10,000 because she didn't file the tax return. You need to file the tax return by the end of Monday, tomorrow, if you never file tax returns and you believe IRS does not know that child's with you. Number two, you do file tax returns every year, but you never listed that child on a prior tax return. An example is if the child was just born during the pandemic. I had one viewer in the comments before this video. Same scenario for that parent. parent just had a child born. If you believe IRS does not know that child has been born in the last calendar year, you need to file the tax return. File it by the end of Monday because they may know of you, but they don't know that child was born. Or another example is the child has been on other person's tax returns in prior years, and they don't know the child is with you now. This is the example of perhaps an ex-husband who was on the ex-husband's tax return. Now the child's on your tax return. You need to get the file on file right away. And the third scenario is the rarest, where you had a lot of money, you're doing financially very well in the year 2019, you listed the child on the tax return, and you're not eligible for this money because you made too much money in 2019. But under 2020, you are eligible because you didn't make a lot of money last year. Guess what? If you haven't filed the 2020 tax return, IRS will go off the most recent tax return, which is the 2019, which shows you're not eligible. You need to file the 2020. Which brings me to the major big tough love moment, which is the following. If you're missing a first stimulus check, a second stimulus check, a third stimulus check. If you're missing a a member of the household stimulus check, you categorically, 100%, no questions about, no debating the issue, have to file a tax return by the end of Monday. There is no no way around it. 
Now, I want to go over something very important with you. I want to look you right in the eye and please pay attention to me. This is a very important tough love moment. And I have three things to say about it. Number one, if you never file a tax return, I because you never you don't make enough money. I got it. That's not the situation. Number two, if you're on SSI and SSDI and you never file a tax return because you're not required to, I got it. That's not the situation. The situation I'm talking about here is where you have to fix something and you perceive there's a situation where you have to fix something. If you have to fix something, you must file the tax return or you will not get the money. IRS has made it very clear that is the way they're fixing the situation. The tax return is due by the end of Monday. For example, if you have to fix the fact that of those children, you must file the tax return by the end of Monday or you're not going to get that money for the children. Which brings me now to other to two other scenarios, which is one. I've had some people say in the comments, has anyone else not gotten a third stimulus check like me? I went to the IRS tracking tool and it doesn't show, it doesn't it shows it went out on March 26. I wonder where it is. This is important to understand. Do not go to the IRS tracking tool anymore. Why? Because at this point, IRS has already determined your check is deemed missing. And you need to go to IRS, you need to go to the tax preparer immediately and get that tax return on by file by end of Monday. There's no more tracking of the third stimulus check at this point. Moreover, there's no excuses and no cutting corners. You can't think about a non-fire filing tool. It doesn't exist anymore. Calling up IRS doesn't cut it. There is no ex there's no cutting the corners. The only way to do is filing that tax return by the end of Monday. Next, I also have people saying, um, what about uh, uh, what about this item? Can I get away with not filing a tax return? Ultimately, it's important to understand if you don't file the tax return, the money won't be coming here. And finally, I have people asking me about the extension. Some people said, what if I do an extension on Monday? Will I still get the money? Sure, you'll get the money. Extremely late. Here's an example. Let's say you get an extension and we're, we're, and we're talking about the concern of you getting the money for the children in July. You will not get the money for the children in July. And you may not get it later this year or may not get it to next year because IRS has very key timelines when they need to send things out and they need the information to send the money out. And if you're not providing the information because you're asking for an extension, then they're going to put you in the very back and get everything done. And when they're finished with everything at the entire run of this, then they'll fix it. So doing extension is not good unless it's a very dire circumstance. Do not do an extension. Which brings me now to the big money for rent, utilities, and food. If you need assistance for rent, utilities, food, mortgage, and free internet, reach out to the volunteers. They're at news.la.com forward slash community. There's a page, web page, that appears in the link of this video and in the description. Reach out to them if you've reached out to your city, county, and state and can't find it. They can help you find it as well. They cannot provide tax advice and they cannot do anything for your unemployment benefits. But they're available on the community page and in 60 seconds, I'll be back with you with more about the breaking news about Ford Stimulus and the huge news about Fifth Stimulus that could raise your benefits an additional 20%. If one leading economist is correct, I'll be back in 60 seconds with New Time LA. If you want money right now, not five days from now and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily.
and then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now at noontime, LA, with big exciting news about your fourth stimulus check update of 2021. The fifth stimulus update of 2021 is also coming up in this video, in which everything is going great. I'm excited you're here. It's a big day. No audio problems, no out of focus problems. Everything's going great, you know. <laughs> It's just one of those days. So subscribe. We're at 400,000 subscribers. Just about, you know, 50 away, 60 away. What an incredible run it's been. I don't want you to miss a single video across the board. I'm next with you on Afternoons at L8, which is at 3 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So subscribe. Also like this video. Two, 3,000 likes. If you're in the live chat, like the video right now. House or Senate, also comment as well because we're coming back to that in a second. And if you've not become a member, consider becoming a member. The PDFs are coming out later today. Boy, I got big updates about four stimulus, that four stimulus check, that monthly stimulus check later in this recording. But let's go to the jaw-dropping, incredible, life-changing news that comes with this stimulus and what one analyst said on Friday. If he is correct, you are absolutely going to have your life changed for uh, for eternity. It's absolutely incredible. So let's go over fifth stimulus. Fifth stimulus is a two-bill, two-step process that starts in the fall, in September, just like the fourth stimulus package, which is also a two-bill, two-step, two-month process. Instead of adding stimulus checks, here they are modifying SSI and SSTI. Let's go over broadly what it is before we go over the specifics, and then I'll get to the breaking news. They're going to raise your benefit levels. They're going to remove the asset limits. They're going to add an inflationary benchmark. That's where the breaking news is. More about that in a second. And then they're going to remove the income exclusion and remove the marriage penalty. All right, let's go over that and I'm going to slow it down because this is a mathematical situation when we get to that breaking news. First, who gets an impact from fifth stimulus? Who gets their benefits lifted up? You do. So if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Veterans Benefits, Survivor Benefits, SSA, you'll be raised up to a new number. Then they'll tie your benefits to inflation. That will be your new benchmark. So every year, your benefits will be reassessed based upon inflation. And inflation goes up, your benefits go up for that year. Now, let me slow it down and show you what happened in the breaking news on Friday and why this is jaw-dropping great news if it comes true. Understand that the way benefits work is every December, they look at your benefits and then they look at the benchmark. And when we're talking about the inflationary benchmark, we've spoken about it over the last two weeks, where analysts, the Federal Reserve, Janet Yellen, the Treasury Secretary, myself, the President, everyone said inflation is going to be about 2.5% to 4%. If that's true, then they first raise your benefits up because of the bill, the law. And then in December, they would raise you up for that inflationary amount. Let's say the inflation is 3%. They would raise you up an additional 3% starting January based upon that number in December. Very easy. And if next year inflation is 4%, then at the end of the year, you get a letter in the mail say, hi, we're going to raise you another 4%. The way that benchmarks work for benefits is they either keep you the same or raise you up. There is no step down. Here's an example. Let's say this year it's 3%. They raise you up 3%. Let's say next year is zero, and the year after that is zero. They don't step you down. They just keep you flat. They don't move you up. They don't move you down. Okay, pretty easy. So let's get to the breaking news then. On Friday, Jeremy Siegel, who's a leading economist, professor at Wharton School of Business, top investor and guru on Wall Street, was interviewed by Broadcast News about the inflation rate and was asked, do you think the inflation rate, Jeremy, is going to be 2.5, 3, 4%? Where do you put the inflation rate for December? He said, oh, no. I think the inflation rate may be upwards of 20%. 20%? Oh, my God, this is great news for you. Lifetime great news for you. Because this, if he is right, if Siegel is right, this is what would happen. First, the fiscal stimulus would raise you up to a certain level. Then, if... Siegel's right in December that the inflationary rate is 20%. You would get a letter saying next year your benefits are raised an additional 20%. And guess what? That would be your minimum level going forward for the rest of your existence on this planet. You never step down. So you would be raised up 20% lifetime. 
At the year after that, it's 3% inflation, you raise up a 3%. At the year after that, it's 1%, you'd raise up 1%. This is incredible great news. Really incredible great news. Now let's go to the remainder of the fifth stimulus package, and that is they're going to remove the asset cap. The asset cap is dating back to a 1980s law, which they're going to get rid of, which says that some of you can't keep more than $3,000 on hand. It'll go away. Then they're going to remove the income cap. It's dating back to a 1960s law, which they're going to cut out, which says that you cannot work and also stay on benefits. So if you want to work, make $1,000, $2,000 a month, you can, and they'll allow you to stay on benefits. And finally, the marriage penalty. The marriage penalty has denied people benefits when they get married, so people on mar who are married have lost their benefits. And millions of Americans, including viewers of this channel, often in the live chat, have not gotten married because they know if they got married, they would lose their benefits. That's why it's called the marriage penalty. They would invalidate it, meaning that love would win. You could consummate your love, marry your lifetime love interests, and not be penalized. It's incredible great news. That's the fifth stimulus package. When would it happen? In September, likely to impact your benefits around November, a two-bill, two-step, two-month process. Which brings us back to fourth stimulus. It's important to understand the breaking news about fourth stimulus, and this is also where I want to slow it down because this is very important. Fourth stimulus checks are over here. And in the last seven days, we saw incredible great news from both Republican governors, Democratic leaders, and even some other Republicans, that stimulus checks get support, but that when we look at other stimulus, potential for stimulus items, they're falling apart. They're going by the wayside. And what's important to understand is what's going on. Two weeks ago, the jobs number was released. Last week, the consumer price index, which shows inflation, and the producer price index, which shows inflation, were released. And what was the totality of the reaction? From both Democrats and Republicans, the agreement was, the, the consensus was, that stimulus for rent needs to go away. So rent stimulus, eviction moratorium, mortgage forbearance are likely not to be extended in the fourth stimulus package. It's not a surprise to anyone. We've been talking about that for a while. But last week's data solidified that position among Democrats and also Republicans. When we talk about unemployment stimulus from a state level, governors have come in and said where the, econ where the economic numbers are coming in, it signals that unemployment stimulus for purposes of the fourth stimulus package needs to go away. But ironically, and here's the great news, that some of the same Republican governors who said unemployment stimulus needs to go away said and I'm going to send you out a stimulus check from our state. Why? Because the great news is that people on both sides of the political spectrum are understanding that a stimulus check is an instrument to get people caught up on bills. It is not tied to unemployment, and it's not tied to rent and eviction. It is just to get people caught up on bills. And that's incredible great news. Three other items of incredible great news when talking about forced stimulus is in the last seven days, the President of the United States has, States has repeatedly come out and said, just get it done. That's great news. Speaking to his Democratic leaders, urging them to finish the two-step, two-bill process that they're currently underway. And number two, he's come out and said three magic words, corporate tax rate. The president is willing to cut his proposal of the corporate tax rate, currently at 28 and 29 percent. The current tax rate is 21 percent, and the moderate Democrats want it at 25. And he said, deal. Incredible great news. Which brings us back to where we are going into afternoon's light. The incredible great news is that a four stimulus check is underway with a two-bill, two-step process that would pay a monthly stimulus check. And while we look at the new data and the new breaking news about from the CDC and states and businesses saying that potentially we're out of the pandemic by July, it signals that potentially the Senate proposal may be better than the House proposal. When we look at fifth stimulus in the fall, it's incredible relief, but it could be absolutely even better. If some economists are correct that the inflationary rate may be higher than 4%, if it's higher than 4%, you're going to get that higher lift up. And that lift would be permanent across the board, despite whatever happens in the future. And finally, thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars are available for you right now. But some of it, you have to do, it, do something, and that something is filing a tax return by the end of Monday. 
So do not make excuses for yourself. If that's for you. If you question the situation, I saw some comments during the commercial break where some people were really uncertain whether they do or don't need to file the tax return, file the tax return. Because if you're wrong and you think that maybe you're not sure, but maybe I won't, and you're wrong and you did have to file it, you're not going to get the money. Defer on caution and get it on file. And with that, I look forward to seeing you on Afternoons L8. That is at 3 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Followed by Evenings L8, two major shows with a lot of breaking news tonight. Subscribe. I want you part of this channel, part of this family. Also, like this video. And if you've not become a member, consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. The link's at the top of the chat and in the pinned comment. New PDFs coming out tonight. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with LA for more.